is continuous process improvement. You are uh, looking at processes, helping people understand them better and looking for waste in your processes. And once you identify the waste and reduce it, then you can standardize so that you have consistent outcomes uh, with less rework, less defects. And um, that ultimately benefits anybody who uses it. Marine Corps Logistics Command is committed to ensuring the work we do adds value to the Fleet Marine Force and our customer base. In all instances, we should continuously and strategically seek opportunities to achieve better and more efficient outcomes in our work. I've had lots of people do CPI projects and at the conclusion they say, you know, that's such a simple solution. We could have done that anyway. And my question is, well, then why didn't you? Why didn't you already do it? And it's because uh, maybe you're just busy doing things, you know, uh, the way you were taught. But CPI basically opens the door so that people now officially, I'm going to look at my process, I'm going to improve it um, in this formal way. CPI has taught me to one, map the process so you understand what the problem is. Throughout that process, you get intimate knowledge of what you're looking at or what process you're looking at. So we all get in our own little niches and we understand what we do. We understand it so thoroughly, yet we're so ingrained in that day-to-day -day function, we don't know what the next person's role is or how that impacts them. So by having a CPI project where everybody understands what their role is, what they've been provided with, what their next course of action should be, um, and how that will affect the next person in the chain of events, it was eye-opening to me because I didn't understand their constraints, they didn't understand my constraints, and we just thought everybody was trying to do the best that they could do, when in actuality they didn't have what I needed up front. The methods and tools taught through the Command Continuous Process Improvement Program empower our workforce with the skill set to transform and improve the efficiency of our work. A lot of the value of understanding the CPI process is in the tools and techniques and the methodology. Understanding how to map a process, understanding how to do root cause analysis, uh, understanding what value is and what non-value is is important to everything. And that's always the question, is like, what value is this adding? Is, is this needed? Because everything can add either good value, bad value, both, but you need to make sure it's the kind of value that you're looking for. Lawcom offers several opportunities a year to earn CPI certifications and training. Yellow Belt Training is a one-day course designed to cover basics and demonstrate the benefits of CPI. The class is offered monthly as long as the class rosters are adequately filled. Green Belt Training begins with a deep dive into the tools and processes that make CPI effective. It is a week-long course that is offered quarterly. Yellow Belt, first of all, is just to whet people's appetite and help them understand what CPI is about. Uh, we try to make it fun. We play with Legos and do things as we teach the concepts. And then, you know, if people come out of the one-day Yellow Belt class saying, wow, this really, this is something down my alley, I like this, uh, then they're great candidates for Green Belt. Green Belt class is a week long and it's my favorite class because it's a deep dive into what is CPI. Anybody leaving that class knows how to lead a project. So not only do we teach the tools what they are, but we teach them how to lead a project using the tools. So how to lead a team using the tools. Leave class, you know that you're supposed to lead a project, but you're not leading it on your own. The support from the CPI community is excellent. You can reach out to any of the command black belts or any other green belt or anybody that's involved in CPI and they're willing to help. My CPI person, my black belt, which was Susan Stuffel, anytime there was any kind of issue or whatever came on, I would call her like, hey, Susan, this is where I'm stuck in. And that experience that she had and from either the uh, Helen personalities to Helen uh, prior projects, it produced great uh, benefits for me. Our leadership really rallied around the project to support us. Um, Susan, even Ms. Carla, my leadership, John Estel, Tom, they participated in the kickoff. They were there to show that, you know, this was important to them, that they wanted to see that it was successful and if there was anything we needed, they made sure that they were heavily involved. They were there for all toll gate briefs. It's, you can tell that the leadership really has buy-in and really wants to support the CPI efforts within the Lockdown. 